Welcome to another session of Statistics and Probability. This is your teacher, John Glenn S. Almario. Today, we will be discussing testing hypothesis involving population proportion. After going through this lesson, you are expected to conduct tests using population proportions and interpret the test of proportions. What is proportion? Let us recall. It is a fraction expression where the favorable response is in the numerator and the total number of respondents is in the denominator. So, yun pala yung proportion. Now, for the lesson proper. For this one, we have learned so far using the one population test and, and the other types of tests that assumptions made when testing proportion, probability, and percentage. The conditions on the binomial expansions are met. Trials have two outcomes. Of course, this is between the what? The population proportion. So, ito yung uh, dinidivide natin sa total number of population. It's either it is a success or a failure. Also, the conditions of n times p greater than or equal to 5 and n times q is greater than or equal to 5 are both satisfied so that the binomial distribution of sample proportions can be approximated by a normal distribution with mu or the mean is equals to np and the standard deviation is equal to, equals to the square root of npq. Therefore, so, uh, we can compute the z statistic of a proportion using the formula z is equals to p hat minus p sub o divided by standard deviation of p. Where p, where p hat is our sample proportion, p sub o is the null hypothesized proportion, and sigma sigma sub p is equals to the standard deviation of the sample proportion. So, dito, uh, sa nakaraang dalawang lesson, ang ating mga null hypothesis is what? In terms of numerical value. Dito naman, in terms of proportion. So, expect nyo, Dito, kapag proportion, alam natin na mas mababa siya sa 1. Ayan, very good. So, in decimal form siya. Take note of that, ha? Okay. Pati yung ating sample proportion or the p hat. Okay? Ayan, very good. So, eto yung, again, formula ng ating uh, C statistic for proportion. Also, kung gagamitin natin uh, formula na to for population proportion, we must also recall the two equations for proportions, which is what? The p hat, where p hat is equals to x over n. And the standard deviation uh, of the pro sample proportion is equals to the square root of the ratio between the product of p sub o, q sub o, and n, which is our population. Ngayon, pag pinag-combine natin yung dalawang ito dito, kapag ito, sinabsitute natin dito sa z-value, ang mangyayari niyan is what? We can, uh, we can say that z is equals to p hat minus p sub o over the square root of p o q o over n. So, saan galing tong uh, part na to? Eh, you no? Know? Ito yun. Saan galing yun? Ayun. Sinabsitut lang natin ito sa baba. Ayan. Diyan. Kuha po ba? Okay. Good. So, sinabsitut lang natin ha. Okay. Now, for one tail test, the null hypothesis, for the null hypothesis, P is equals to P sub O. And then, uh, alternative hypothesis, P is greater than P sub O and the rejection region is Z greater than the positive z value or eight or the null or the alternative hypothesis p is greater than p sub o and the rejection region is z is less than what the negative z value okay so in yung ating condition medyo nakakalito no ganun talaga pero pag nandoon na tayo sa sample uh, the more na ginagawa natin to the more na magiging uh, mafafamiliarize tayo okay that is for one tail test. For two tail test, madali lang. Bakit? Kasi equal or not equal lang naman. So, sa null hypothesis, P is equals to P sub O. 
at the alternative hypothesis, P is not equal to P sub O. And the rejection region is what? Z is greater than, Z is less than what? The negative Z value. And Z, and when Z is greater than the positive Z value of A over 2. Ayan. So, ito yung uh, same lang din ho ng, uh, ng rejection region. Kaya lang in terms of negative Z and positive Z na po tayo. Okay? Okay, good. Now, for example, using the 0 0.05 level of significance, let's run a Z test given the following. N is equals to 74. P hat is equals to 5 over 74. Then P sub O is equals to 10%. Let us use both the traditional and the P value method. So, paano ba natin i-approach yung ganitong klaseng problem? So, dito, ang sinabi sa atin, let us use the p-value and traditional method. So, hindi naman ganun kahaba, okay? Magsaseg uh, magkaroon lang tayo ng uh, uh, dalawang method across a, uh, across a step, okay? Good. So, dito, again, same steps lang pag kung paano tayo mag-compute ng what? Ng z-value before. So, unang-una, let us describe the population parameter of interest, which is the parameter of interest is the population proportion P. So, yun lang yung pinagkaiba doon. Ang population of interest natin, this time, yung population proportion P. Very good. Next, let us formulate the hypothesis. So, paano kaya yung hypothesis natin dito? We can use the null hypothesis is equals to P is equals to P sub O. So, ano naman yung alternative natin? Is it greater than or not equal? Ano sa tingin niya? Okay. Very good. A sub O is equals to P is equals to point 10. Saan galing yung point 10? Ayun yung point 10. P O? Ayun. Point 10. Kuha? Okay. Good. Ano naman ngayon yung alternative natin? Ang alternative natin, since walang nakalagay na condition, not equal siya. Kuha po ba? Okay, good. San galing ulit itong point 10? Dito po sa PO na given. Okay? Good. Ngayon meron na tayong hypothesis. Ano susunod natin? Very good. Let us check the assumptions. So, check natin yung N. Ang N natin ay 74. Therefore, we can apply central limit theorem. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Next, let us choose the significance level and the type of test. So, sa type of test, walang duda, ito ay what? Two-tailed. Kasi not equal yung nasa alternative hypothesis. Eh, yung significance level, meron ba tayo? Ayun, ah, nasa given na. Which is equals to 0 0.05. So, yun, yun din. Type of test, two-tailed. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, let us compute the test statistic. So, paano tayo magkocompute ng test statistic? We will use the formula. Ito mo ng p hat. Kunin mo natin is equals to x over n. Ayan. So, 5 over 74. Kailangan nakadecimal. Which is equals to 0 0.0676. Okay? So, hanggat maaari uh, for decimal places, nakaround off. Okay? Kung kaya. Pero kung kaya ng eksakto, eksakto. Okay? Okay, good. Next. Meron na tayong p hat. Ano nang gagawin natin? We will use it to compute q sub o, which is 1 minus p sub o. San galing yung p sub o? Ayun, given na siya, 0.1. Hindi ito yung gagamitin, ha? Ito, yung p sub o, which is equals to 0.1. 1 minus 0.1 is equals to 0 0.09. I mean, 0 0.9. Very good. So, bakit mahalagang malaman natin P sub O, Q sub O. Gagamitin natin yan later sa pag-compute ng T statistic. I mean, ng test statistic, test statistic, which is equals to what? Ayan. Z is equals to P hat minus P O divided by the square root of P O Q O over N. Ayan. So, may, meron na tayong P hat. May P O na tayo, may Q O na rin, at may N na tayo. Pwede natin compute yung Z value. Ayan. Very good. So, pag kinumpit natin yan, ano makukuha natin? Very good. That is negative 0.93. Ayan. 
Once na makompleta natin yung C value, ano uh, ang susunod natin gagawin? I-check na natin yung area of that, equivalent area of that Z score na nakompleta natin, which is equals to 3 point, I mean, 0.3238. Take note guys, iba to sa probability approach na greater than, wala tayong ganun. Kung ano yung nakompute nating Z value rito, yun yung area na i-compute natin. Hindi probabi, hindi tayo na, wala tayo sa probability approach, ha? hindi yung greater than. So, kung ano yung nakuha nating Z value dito, yun yung hahanapan natin ng area. Kuha ba? Okay, good. That is equals to, again, area of Z, 0.93 is equals to 0.3238. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Next, let us compute for the probability. Ayan. So, the p-value is equals to 0.5 minus, yung na-compute natin error dito, i-minus natin sa 0.5, which is equals to 0.1764. Yan ang ating p-value. Ayan. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Since the test is two-tailed, mumultiply pa natin to by 2 kasi two-tailed test tayo eh. Don't forget, ha? Yan. So, 0.1764 times 2 is equals to 0.3528. So, yan yung final p-value natin. Saan natin gagamitin yung p-value? Sa pag-state uh, pag ng decision, i-compare natin yan saan? Di ba nung nakaka, kino-compare natin sa alpha? Dito, saan na naman natin siya i-compare? Ayan, very good. I-compare natin siya. Again, dito na mag, uh, ano, mag split yung ating uh, methods. Kasi bakit? Uh, sabi, use traditional and p-value method. Sa traditional method, given that the alpha is equal to 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis if the computed z-value is less than or equal to the one, uh, one, negative 1.96 or if computed z-value is greater than or equal to 1.96. Also, we do not reject the null hypothesis if the computed z-value is what? Greater than negative 1.96 or if less than 1.96. That is if in traditional method. How about if in uh, p-value method? We reject the null hypothesis if the computed p-value is less than 0 0.05 and we do not reject the null hypothesis if the computed p-value is greater than 0 0.05. Ayan, very good. So, ito yung mga condition natin for traditional and p-value method. Ngayon, alam natin yung decision rule. Let us compare the computed values. So, ang compute nat uh, na compute natin ang z-value ay negative 0.93. I-compare natin siya. Mas malaki ba yung 0.93? Negative 0.93 sa negative 1.96. Yes, mas malaki. So, sa p-value naman, 0.3528. Saan natin ito kumpara Sa 0 0.05. At mas malaki yung p-value natin, 0.3528 sa 0 0.05. Therefore, ano ang magiging decision natin dito? Very good. We what? We cannot reject or we accept the alternative hypothesis. We, uh, I mean, we accept the null hypothesis, sorry. We accept the null hypothesis or since we cannot reject the null hypothesis, we accept it. There is, there is no significant difference between the sample proportion and the population proportion. Bakit? Based dito sa no-compute natin. Yan. So, kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, recap tayo ng formula ng statistic. Again, C is equals to P hat minus P sub O over standard deviation of P. So, ito lang ho tayo. Ah. Ayan. So, una, kompetin natin P hat, Q hat, I mean, P hat, Q O. Ayan. So, yun lang mga kompetin natin. Since given na yan, mad uh, madaling yun lang mga kompetin. C value, diretso na tayo, kunin yung area, then what? Compare with alpha. Okay. P-value approach tayo, ha? Okay. Practice na tayo. Practice na natin. Get ready for the next battle. Okay. So, ito yung ating practice problem. 
a school administrator claims that less than 50% of the students of the school are dissatisfied by the community cafeteria service. Test, uh, test is claimed by using the sample data obtained from a survey of 500 students of the school where 54% indicated their dissatisfaction of the community cafeteria service. Use alpha is equals to 0 0.05. Okay, so dito papaktasin lang natin using a uh, uh, p-value or the popul uh, by population proportion. Okay? P-value uh, p value approach tayo, ah, hindi tayo traditional. Okay? Uh, post nyo yung video, then after that, check natin kung tama yung sagot nyo. Okay? I trust you guys. Good luck. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so check na natin kung tama yung sagot natin. Ano? Okay, sige. So, ano yung unang step dito sa practice problem natin na to? So, step 1. Let us describe the population parameter of interest. Ang population parameter interest natin ay yung population proportion ng P ng alin ng dissatisfied students. Yung mga hindi satisfied sa community cafeteria service. Okay? So, next step 2. Let us formulate the hypothesis. So, dito, isang ano lang tayo, isa lang yung gagamitin natin, ha? Unlike dun sa previous lesson natin, dalawa yung ginagamit natin. So, dito, isa lang. Okay? Ayan, very good. So, ano, ano yung hypothesis natin? Ang what? Null hypothesis natin ay equal sa P is equals to PO. Ano yung PO natin? Yun ang tanong. Ang PO natin ay asan? Ang PO natin ay ayun. That is what? 50% or 0.5. Less than 50%. So, yun yung ating given. Bakit hindi itong 54%? Yan ang ating P hat. Ayan. Ako, medyo na dito. So, okay lang yun. Pero, ito talaga yung PO natin. 50%. Okay? So, again, paano natin malalaman kung Ano yung alternative hypothesis natin? Check natin in contrast with our p-hat. 54%. So, as nakasabi dito, less than 50%. Therefore, ano yung ating uh, alternative hypothesis? Ang p natin ay less than 0 0.05. Saan galing tong less than? Take note dito po. Less than 50%. Ayan. Ako. Claims that Less than 50%. Ayan, derecho. Claims that less than 50%. Ito yun. Ayun, very good. So, kuha ba? Okay, good. Next. Let us check the assumption. So, ano yung assumption natin? So, check natin yung population. Ilan yung population? That is what? 500. So, therefore, we can now apply central limit theorem. So, next. What? We will check the significance level and the type of test. So, ano, ano significant, level, significant level natin? Ayun, 0 0.05. Ano naman ang type of test? That is, one-tailed, left-tailed test. Ayan, very good. Kuha ba? Kuha, very good. Next. Ano susunod natin? We will what? We will compute the test statistic. So, this one, kailangan natin yung P hat, yung P sub O at Q sub O. Meron na ba tayong P hat? Meron. That is what? 54%. Ano naman ang PO natin? Ang PO natin ay 0.5. Kung PO natin ay 0.5, ang QO natin ay 0.5. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Kasi kalahati eh. Kalahati, kalahati naman eh. Kaya equal siya. Okay? Ayan. Very good. So, isasubstitute na lang natin dito. So, ano kaya sagot? Ang Z value natin ay equal sa 1.79. Once na meron na tayong Z-score, kukupitin na lang natin yung area na equivalent ng 1.79, which is equals to what? Very good. Area ng Z, 1.79 is equals to 0.4633. Sa natin gagamitin itong 0.4633? Ima-minus natin yan sa 0.5. Ayan, very good. Para makupit natin yung probability or the p-value. So, uh, gamit ito, ma-minus natin sa 0.5, which is equals to 0 0.0367. Ayan, very good. Ayan ang p-value natin. So, i-multiply pa ba natin sa 2? Hindi na. 
Bakit? Kasi one tail test lang naman tayo. Okay? Since one tail test, yan ang ating final p-value. So, kuha ba? Okay, good. Next, we will compare this with what? With the alpha, 0 0.05. Okay. So, iyan yung ating decision rule. Reject natin pag mababa sa 0 0.05. Pag uh, mataas, we accept it. Kuha ba? Okay, good. So, kumpara natin dalawang value. P-value is 0 0.0367. So, paano? Ayan. This is what? The, uh, point zero, the computed p-value 0 0.0367 is less than or equal to 0 0.05. Therefore, we can what? We will reject the null hypothesis. The proportion came from a sample with, of which cost of customers which are satisfied with the service of the community cafeteria. Ayan. So, kuha ba? Okay. Very good. Thanks for watching my video lesson. Again, this is John Dennis Almario saying, remember, trust the process. Bye, guys. See you soon.